Okay, so um, my name is Robert Meyer. Uh, I'm from Italy, and um, I want um, to talk to you something about the Fedora website. Uh, the goal is not to, to speak about uh, HTML, CSS in the detail. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, what we are using, uh, which language we are using <coughs> for the Fedora website, um, the architecture we use, uh, what's the actual build, uh, maybe the tree, and I wanted to build the website locally, but uh, we, we need uh, to, to do something else. Uh, and in, <coughs> at the end, I want to show you what happens with uh, Fedora Next. Uh, so uh, you probably heard uh, the keynotes about Fedora Next, and the websites are uh, heavily influenced about these uh, changes. And um, so we will uh, look at some mockups, and uh, maybe you have some suggestions we can uh, include in the next <laughs> website. So. So what is the website theme? Yeah, uh, these are mainly the, 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 the questions I uh, already said. Uh, we actually don't have any APEC contributor or active APEC contributor for the, in the, for the website theme. So maybe at the end of my talk we will we will gather some one of you. <laughs> So we, we use uh, HTML and CSS. Uh, Fedora websites are all static websites. Uh, are there, is there anyone who does websites by his own uh, at home or no? Yeah, okay. So uh, we actually have static websites. All the websites uh, are not. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we use some JavaScript, uh, mainly Python based. We have some scripts on our websites, uh, which uh, are very useful, on, and we use Genshi for the translation. Uh, I saw we have uh, some uh, uh, guys from the localization teams here. <laughs> That's nice. And uh, what's the goal? So. Um, we uh, we want we wanted and we will uh, also for Fedora Next um, uniform all the Fedora websites we maintain um, into a uniform scheme. Um, we want also uh, to man uh, we are actually maintaining all the content which don't fall under a specific sub project. So um, the websites we are maintaining are. Uh, all the, the sites with uh, fedoraproject.org domain uh, without specific uh, websites like the, uh, the apps, the applications website uh, are infra maintained. Uh, we don't do anything with, with, with it. Uh, also the wiki, wiki is uh, infra related uh, website. Also, although you, you read on the bottom of every site, please, uh, <laughs> If you have any suggestions, contact the website team. We will uh, pass the, the suggestion then to the infrastructure team. Um, we have also the, the goal to design our sites as exciting as the project uh, that they represent. Actually, the websites are rather old. Mm, the last update was five years ago, I think, 2009. And uh, that's also another reason why, why we want to update all our websites. <coughs> so let's look uh, where the website team is. Uh, we, we can do the stuff by our, our own. We depend on a lot of other teams. Um, um, for example, uh, marketing team, <laughs> all the text you read on our websites are uh, approved by the marketing team, uh, although sometimes I do it by myself because it's quicker. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, 
we depend uh, natural, naturally on the design team. All the icons, uh, banners, and so on are done by the design team. Infrastructure, yeah, obviously. Uh, our websites are maintained <coughs> uh, by the infrastructure team. And uh, we depend a lot, uh, or we look a lot, uh, on our localization teams. We do internationalization with Genshi. And we always try to um, make the, the work of our localization teams as less complicated as possible. Um, it's not so easy for us. We have around uh, 60 or some more languages. Uh, some of them, when they translate the English in their own language, uh, have very long words. So we need to, to think about this when we design the, the website, uh, the sidebars, the banners, and so on. <coughs> so um, every time we change from the alpha to beta, or from the beta to the master release, uh, or the master branch, um, I'm in contact also with the Relang team, release engineering. We need new GPG keys. We need uh, to know the exact uh, image uh, size. We, we need uh, image names. We we need a lot of stuff uh, to build to, to to write our website. So the content is not so easy to get for us sometimes. And uh, yeah, uh, it's it's. Um, it's sometimes uh, rather challenging to, to get all these informations for us. Um, although in the last time it has improved a lot. <coughs> so, we maintain... Uh, all the websites like uh, Start FPO, uh, Boot, Fedora Project, we have Fatcon, we have the Fedora Community website, um, Fedora project and Swings, fedoraproject.org. Uh, all the websites, all the, all the websites and the other projects are uh, maintained by the infrastructure team. Infrastructure is uh, responsible for all of these projects. So uh, when you see the Fedora hosted, uh, uh, org site uh, where we have the Git uh, repos and so on. Uh, these are all maintained by the infrastructure team. <coughs> if there is some outage, you will, you will uh, see it here. It's the status uh, dot uh, FPO <coughs> page. Doesn't work at five and shift at five neither. Okay, so uh, the architecture, I'm, well, I, I want to go very quickly here, uh, just to show you uh, the build tree uh, is composed like this. Um, we have a directory for every site, uh, fedoraproject.org is the example. Uh, within the build uh, directory, we have
have some uh, scripts for uh, the specific build of this website. Uh, data contains all the pages we have. And, uh, in there are it's all the content. Uh, these are all um, .html files. <coughs> the static uh, contains the CSS, the images, banners, and so on. PO are all the, the, the languages we have. So PO, lingua files, and uh, the website uh, POT file, we, uh, we will <coughs> we push regularly to uh, Transivec. And we have a make file for every single uh, Fedora, Fedora, um, Fedora website, which uh, is a redirect to, to the main make file, uh, which uh, builds all our websites um, at the same time. <coughs> Um, does anyone, uh, did anyone take a look uh, on our website repo or, or on our files, perhaps, without Francisco, <laughs> without Anko? Uh, no? Uh, yeah, um, you will see a lot of uh, variables there. Uh, we use a, a specific uh, global variable file where we define uh, the version, the, the, the actual state of the, the, the Fedora release, the alpha, beta, and so on. This makes it a lot easier to change all the, all the websites um, at the same time. Uh, we, we just need to, to change the variable, and uh, we have the, the result on all our websites immediately. So that's, that's a very helpful. <coughs> Uh, internationalization, well, uh, I said we use Genshi for uh, doing that. We have four streams mainly, uh, so it's, it's very easy and, and, and not so, so skilling. Uh, the simplest one is a simple markup of string. Uh, you can say, hello Beijing. Uh, this is the, the stream you, you see more often on our website. Then we have the one uh, with an HTML code inside. Uh, we need to use the and the GT and uh, dot and point uh, to to mark uh, to mark up the right way. <coughs> and the other ones are combined ones uh, with variables inside, so they are less used and. As I said uh, at, the, at the beginning, I don't want to, to go too much uh, into the details here. Yeah. Um, also, if, if anyone doesn't know Genshi is not a problem, you can copy and paste it uh, as I did at the, at the beginning. So uh, it's rather easy to, to get into this uh, workflow. <coughs> and these are the, the strings. Uh, we need to extract and to push uh, to Transifex where the localization teams then uh, get their strings to, to translate. <coughs> well, uh, this we will, we will see later. Uh, Makepot is, is a script, uh, is a script uh, running on our website. It will extract all all the strings we have on the website and uh, push it to the localization teams. Uh, with make push bot, which which, which is uh, another script. So, um, yeah. it's the same as I said before. Uh, it's more related to the localization teams. We have uh, um, dedicated directories for them, uh, where we where we have the translation um, scripts. So it's, it's, as you see, it's all very Python based here. And mm -hmm. if you want to contribute, there is nothing to change actually. It works quite well. Uh, adding new languages is uh, relatively easy. Uh, there is a main uh, lingua file here, which contains all the new all the languages. Uh, the languages <coughs> after it are uh, pulled in by the, by the script, and we can update it with, with the localization update script, uh, which is in the main directory. 
the build. So uh, now it's good. <laughs> we have a sync static script um, for the production websites, but also for the staging websites. Uh, for uh, fedoraproject.org and SPINS uh, FPO, we have staging websites uh, available at stg.fedoraproject.org and where we do some testing. Uh, actually, there's nothing on it, I think. Uh, if anyone wants, he can try. So should we uh, first try for Fedora Next, which is just uh, <laughs> has been just thrown away. So uh, websites are rebuilt hourly. At every hour, uh, infrastructure will build or the script will uh, build the new the, <coughs> the site uh, from zero. And the build of all the websites um, takes about 30, 35 minutes. So it's not uh, not so. It's it's not a lot. Half an hour to to build all our websites. Um, we can change obviously uh, the, the branch we want to use <coughs> to build the websites. Production websites are built with the master branch, uh, staging websites uh, actually with uh, Fedora Next branch, but we can change this uh, for uh, people who, are, who have permissions to the, to the web server. We can change, change this immediately. Um, yeah, staging websites and pins staging to our project .org are the two testing websites. Uh, <coughs> Fedora Next. So, um, it's it it is and it's rather difficult for us to to plan something for Fedora Next. There are so many inputs uh, from the working groups. There are a lot of inputs also from, uh, from the release engineer engineering uh, team. And uh, we need to plan, or, or we needed to plan the website uh, in order to, to keep open a door on the left, a door on the, on the right, and uh, to adapt our website in, um, easily in every moment. Uh, until a few months ago, or a few weeks ago, we didn't even know how many products we will have. There was three, then there was four or five, and there was one, <coughs> another one, three. So uh, this all is, is not very helpful for us. Um, but we needed to do some mockups, and we worked uh, really close together with uh, the design team, uh, mainly uh, Ryan Lerch uh, and uh, Marine, uh, but uh, we had also help from from some uh, website guys. So we were five, six people working on this, and we have actually some nice mockups. Um, Fedora Next will be the first um, website version which includes also dynamical websites. Um, and there are there are already some ideas to let it uh, to make the, the website uh, a new uh, working point for uh, contributors too. Um, <coughs> so we have we will have finally for Fedora One at least we will have three products. Uh, workstation, server, and cloud. Uh, we want to in <coughs> involve the community more than now. Um, that's why, that's because uh, most of the people looking at our wiki um, are in difficult to find information. So we want to bring some information to the Fedora project website and be specific for the the single contributors, um, like design team, translations, all the teams, to, to get their informa the information they need to be active the right way. So uh, we also want a better layout. Um, Fedora Next website will be um, built with the bootstrap, so uh, we will we will be we will 
have um, websites which fit in mobile devices as well as in very large screens, so they are responsive. <coughs> uh, we will use our latest applications, so uh, uh, the thought is to, to include also askfedoraproject.org. Uh, why not include Fedocal uh, and other applications uh, we developed uh, or infrastructure we developed, developed recently and to make it uh, more um, visible to the community and, and to the contributors. <coughs> we want mm, to be, and we want the website to be not only not not anymore uh, a download uh, website because actually it's a download website. Uh, the guides we have on the on the websites are rather old. Some of them, if I remember, are Fedora 15 or 16, and uh, this one will uh, fall away. Uh, we will have other focuses on the website, and hopefully you will like this. Um, <clears throat> I brought some mock-ups here. Uh, I wanted to, to build the website also locally. Um, let's see, we, we could use uh, Ryan Labs uh, Fedora People account, probably. So, um, the, the main website will fall away. We won't have a Fedora uh, project.org domain, uh, dot, uh, org page anymore. It will be a direct to the getfedora.org page, which will be uh, a brochure, or um, yeah, a brochure uh, where we have uh, our downloads, uh, of the three products. We will provide the download link to grab easily the products uh, uh, people are searching for, so workstation, cloud and server. Uh, obviously, the brochure will contain our four foundations. And um, will be easy, very easy to read. So, uh, few informations, very clear, um, uh, built in and for all, for all people who are looking for Fedora. Um, the support, uh, the inspiration is from Stack Overflow or Get Satisfaction. <coughs> uh, I don't know if Anko wants to say something about Fedora, uh, Ask Fedora project, but um, we recently introduced the multi-language power. So it's rather big. Uh, once we release Fedora 21, we will also achieve the old uh, repository and create a new one. So the clone will be very fast. <coughs> oh, it's that I can, I can show you. But uh, actually, the, the branch we use for Fedora Next is called f.next. Uh, you check out this branch. Mm go to the Fedora web, Fedora project.org page, because the development is only there. Uh, and you can build your, your site locally. Mm, the best is to choose uh, your language. You can uh, test and make it, um, build a test instance with make and test. We'll, be, we'll build the pages in English. Make, uh, what is it for Chinese? Uh, data age. Uh, Underscore and CN. Yeah. Okay, make the end uh, test will be the, uh, will be only the Chinese page. So that's rather uh, uh, quick. Otherwise, you, you if you if you do a make test, you will build all the languages and will and it will take a lot. It will take uh, about 10-15 minutes, not uh, half an hour or a whole web server, but 10-15 uh, minutes. Yes. To stop the instance is make stop test. Uh, all these informations are also on uh, the wiki page. We have a specific wiki page to show all these short informations. Uh, it's the wiki page um, slash website slash show me. Or uh, you can directly go to the website and you will find all the links on the main website. 
on the main width where you If you want to contribute, if you have ideas and so on, you can uh, create a commit and send your changes with the patch, with git format patch origin slash master, um, and can send it or to one of us directly, or um, or better to the track web instance. You create a ticket on our track and send your patch there. <coughs> better is if you get uh, commit permission permissions on the web server and you can contribute it uh, directly. Well, let's see if the mockups. rather easy, it's, it's very quick build from the browser normally. So mm, this is the, the image I had on the slide before. Uh, you will see, so these are not the colors we have on the, on the markup actually. Uh, Fedora Freedom <coughs> friends, features. First, <coughs> we have the workstation, download Fedora 21. For the server, and we have some descriptive columns. Yeah, we obviously obviously have also the cloud, and and we will create a common footer for all our websites. Actually, websites have every website has its own footer. It's not what we want. We want a footer for all websites, which is the same. Um, so uh, very. Easy done and uh, direct links, not so much buttons, no sidebar, uh, nothing else. Just a brochure where to get the information of what Fedora is, what you are searching for, uh, and what you need. So here will be workstation, cloud, and server with a short description of what it is, what uh, what the image is uh, is about, and if you want can go to the detailed page and there are then all the others all the other images for 64 and 32 bit uh, CD, live images and so on okay uh, last if you want to contribute first steps you know this as account you should, should join our mailing list and request join just say something about you. You uh, you can do learning by doing. It's not uh, it's not uh, important to know uh, very well Python or, or, or JavaScript. We have just a few skits on on, on our web page. Actually, they are, they are working working well, and, uh, and they are rather easy. If you have questions, you can join us on Fedora website channel. Us, uh, there should be someone uh, replying, and then if you want to get more into it, you can get the easy fix ticket, send your patch there, and uh, linking it uh, in the mailing list saying, Hey, I did a patch, uh, please look at it. And when you are very comfortable with our, with our architecture, you probably will. will <coughs> want to, to join also the Bitcoin or web group and you will get uh, push access on, on our server. So that's more or less um, the steps we, we want you to, to do to contribute. Uh, more than the steps and the skills are the ideas as you probably have seen and um, we would be happy to have uh, also some active APEC contributors again. We had some in the past, uh, very active, and actually uh, there's no one here, so 
if this dog helps to find uh, someone, uh, it's a success. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about it? Uh, probably we have a minute or left. Or <laughs> yeah, two minutes. Uh, two minutes, uh, three questions. That's the EasyFix website. It's for all uh, groups. So that these are tickets uh, which are tagged uh, as easier than other ones. Uh, everyone who wants to jump into a group can start with these tickets. These are um, sometimes rather easy. There are some uh, patches of a line or so, or for two or three lines. So uh, just get in contact with this group. Uh, and we have the, the website group too. Don't know how many tickets we have actually. So three like this. Oh. Oops. No. <laughs> Only four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so moving from Alpha. Yeah, they are rather outdated actually. So if you want a ticket, just ask on our channel. I will I will show you <laughs> an easy one. And uh, yeah. Uh, one small question. Uh, does this uh easy fix webs or uh, web has a localized ver version? Because I, I don't think the, the language is selector at the at the No, time. I don't think there is a localized version. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's something we can add it so that uh, you know that uh, maybe we can track attention from the uh, yes. Why not? I mean uh it's a lot of work for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can check it. No, because the, the page is rather easy and uh, the, 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 the parts which are, uh, are static are, are a few. Um, every time uh, a contributor creates a new ticket and, and tags it easy fix, you need to translate it because uh, it would get the title. And, and the status, so probably we need to you need to translate this from JavaScript. From JavaScript. Ah, ah, translate? Don't think so. <laughs> These are created from the track. Yes. Yeah. They are automatically yeah. grabbed from the track. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, but for the rise of the yes, the status case. could be could be grabbed automatically. Yes, but the title not. Title, yeah, That's it's just three more. Yeah. yeah, but for the rise, I I think like they can be translated. I mean. Yeah, you could create a ticket for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> This one? Easy fix, uh, tickets Easy fix is infra, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to open your tickets at the right track, <laughs> otherwise they get lost. 
So I should be filing one ticket to the Kidara in, uh, infrastructure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Other questions? Or are you all hungry? <laughs> okay then. Thank you.